All right, perfect. So let's check out the board. Let's look at the big board and see. This is the all the clues we've assembled so far about where everything goes, which we unfortunately do not have nearly enough of. So close yet so far away. We need three things. We have to do three main things. Right. Yeah, we do. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Yep. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Whatever. Yes, that's the <laughs> solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Okay, so that happened. Please let me kick his ass, then rewind. Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. We do. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Well, to who? And be careful of step crack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh my god, it's made the same decisions. <laughs> That's so weird. It made all the same decisions I, I did. Maybe those are like, no, those aren't even like the um, most common answers. At least not helping siding with David. Cause that's what happened before. Or that's, yeah, I say with David, most people sided with Chloe. So it's really interesting. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Maybe in the lockers. Oh my god, I got 13 texts from Warren. Forget it. Sorry, Warren. It's not gonna happen. Whoa, Just let it rest, okay? Padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? What you hiding? Oh, man! For once, I don't have time to search for the code. I need to find a key. Warning, I don't dial 911. Try and take the keys. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one, one. goddamn thing. Come so on, I need to distract him. Find a way to get How do I do that? Maybe I unlock this door right here. Just spitball on through my head. And then we tamper with the fuse box. See me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Enter the ninja. Turn off his lights. Of Turn off bitch. his rodeo. Radio. We'll go along the outside. I give up William, but defend David. Do we take back gotcha. the keys? And we... I go back this way. He turns it back on. You know, as you do. So he starts walking that way. William, but defend David. Would Chloe hate me if she knew? Probably. Let's use the keys though. I David's not that bad of a guy. She is the master of unlocking. David's not a bad guy though. Just misunderstood. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos, photos of, of Kate, Kate Nathan. Nathan. Yes. Oh my god, longitude and latitude. It's crazy how you get that information. <laughs> Warren taking a pound, pounding. Twilight Zin. Uh, I am a reference, apparently. A suspect, I should say. <clears throat> Alright, let's get Score. the fuck out of here. Back to Chloe now. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Back to oh, the yeah. dorm. Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus, there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. Yeah. Extra careful. Time to dance. Right. Now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Ooh, she's getting feisty. Alright, so back to the dormitories. This is definitely okay. 
Mm. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. Man, they walk so weirdly. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. Indeed. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. Space skip. I'll wait out here so you can check. Come on, yourself. space skip. I was a ah. cool <laughs> dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let <laughs> Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. <laughs> oh yes. I'm on it. So, yeah. It's like, what if she died? What would we be doing now? We'll be visiting her grave and saying the same things. Oh, that'd be grim. I don't think I could do that. That'd be weird. That'd be creepy. Ugh. I'm curious, though. Max. Max. Kate. Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Kate. Listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry you about. Have nothing to be sorry Other about. people do. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Totally. Is it totes? A stupid question that I ask you. Space doing. skip. Come now on. Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down, Max. I felt so lost and alone. But then you came, and I saw how much you're there. You, trying. you made me realize I wasn't. I alone. wasn't alone. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. There are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because <sighs> I made them away. I'm keeping the balloons though. One balloons of the are fun. Gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. Mustard. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's my photographs. That you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Damn Isn't right. That subtle? I saved your life. I own you. Box. That's how it works. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. She was. She I'm could glad be. You believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. <sighs> gotta change. Okay, when I looked at this, it did something, so I'm gonna look at it again. That is so sweet. Next, next, Even next, Victoria next. Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. And this right here. Mr. Wells knows okay. how to step it up when he wants to. So should I just talk to her again? It is so good to hang out with you again. Let's do it. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Um, how you doing, Kate? I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. <laughs> that was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Warren? Eh? Yeah. think of, of Warren. Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. <laughs> you know he likes you. Totally. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, my date seems weird. No. No. You deserve that. Kate Marsh. Not Warren. <laughs> I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. Okay. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. 
I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Uh, it seems like Vortex Club is more what it's about. I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? That sounds like a bad idea. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Oh, man. Is she going to really do that? <laughs> no. I can't let her do that. I can't let her do that. I have to get back to our uh, mission. Wait, can I go back? I don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. Wait, I want to talk to her about Victoria. Oops. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Okay, yeah, go back. Go back. Go fast. Chat. Go. Talk to her about things. All right, yeah. So let's talk about us. Kate, let's avoid talking so about. Max. Um. We we'll talk about Kate. I all blah blah blah. Oh yeah. Blah blah. Warren. Hey. Blah blah blah. Oh. No. Don't care. Kate Don't Warren. care. You My God, Kate? is this really skipping? Victoria. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be, uh, not nice. Total bitch. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No, I think it will take more than that, Max. I'm leaving. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Did I take care of her bunny? <laughs> I don't remember doing that. Oh god, I hope the bunny's not dead. <laughs> that would go very badly. Uh, yeah, about oh, that. She... Your bunny died. Marsh. Thank god. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. Good. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Good thing Chloe doesn't have the gun anymore. Or maybe it's a bad thing. I don't really know. Drones. People playing around. Pfft. When you go to school, did anybody ever play this much? No, it never happened. This game is very unrealistic. People hanging out. It's a very happy place. It's bullshit. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. <laughs> Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. No oh, doubt. No doubt. Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. I feel like yep. a total loser, but... It's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. 
I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, <laughs> you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Oh, yeah, I'm Mr. Cutie Pie. Rose, you are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. There we go. All right, let's go chat around, see what's what. So eventually we're going to have to make our way let's in see here. see if I can find out where Nathan is. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. Just hammered. All right, can't talk to you. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Who are you? I can't remember who you are. Oh, smashed. Forget it. How's it going? Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. The guy that talks real weird. Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. <laughs> look at this. Look at the face. Look at his shirt. He's got I good drawings. Be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. <laughs> How do you feel about Kate? Talk to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. Yeah. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but yeah. I appreciate what she needs. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. <laughs> I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. <laughs> end of the world party! Are you going to do an end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Go to the party. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but I'll go. Yeah. Have fun. He's probably gonna get beat the shit out of him. Have you seen Nathan Prescott? Get the shit beat out of him. I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Let's talk later. Okay, so he left. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. No, but we don't need that. Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. <laughs> Imagine if that happened. Wait, into the boys' dormitories? This is the girls. This is where I always went in. What? <laughs> I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. How you doing, Samuel? How are you doing, Max? been a tough week I know yes it has Samuel how are you sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay you look like you have a lot of questions too I talk about the people More questions and answers Samuel is always here to talk <laughs> Nathan have you seen Nathan Prescott around that would be hard since he was suspended he deserved it. He deserved it. And more. Samuel tries not to judge people. But Nathan shouldn't be here. Maybe he's supposed to be here, though. Oh. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. All right, what do you think of David? Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. <laughs> he sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you. 
Max. That's weird. Why? <laughs> Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. And what do you think about Kate? I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Yeah. Samuel, you were the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Yeah. What about Arcadia Bay? I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Uh, what about the Vortex Club? I feel like this is not the guy to be talking about Club. this. <laughs> yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. Before it swallows you whole. Uh, do you know anything about Rachel, I though? I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. You think she's alive? Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Thanks, Samuel. Rachel Amber is waiting, too. All right, that's enough of this. Let's head out of here. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Makes me mad. Should I talk to Miss Grant? Yeah. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. <laughs> I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. All right, what about Nathan? I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Uh, hell no, you but... You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Yeah, Too yep. much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. Really? I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual. So That's not good. Maybe it's good you haven't found him. All right. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get. Let's get out of here. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Everything is changing here. As a scientist. All right. I will talk to her though. So ironic. Brooke, how's it going? Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Nope. Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. I already know where he is. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. All right. Drone, actually, this could be helpful. You better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. You can have Warren, holy shit. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Why? Ugh. All right, let's get this chapter part done. All right, Chloe, let's do it. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Oh, <laughs> you 
sock. <laughs> now let's get into Blackwall Ninja mode. Oh no! Hold on. Is this not reset? Okay, it's still streaming. Oh god, I hope this has been streaming the whole time. <laughs> so lame, they don't have colored dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Okay. Okay, good. Whew. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Alright. Let's do this. Let's check around. I see showers. Whose room is this? Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. <laughs> Well, what is this? Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Can I clean this off or something like that? What? Whose room is this? Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. <laughs> These people are the worst. Bigfoot's got big balls. Zach nice. Zach or Logan. Who knows? Bro's got a bro. The Prescott's rule this town. This can only be Nathan's room. Right, do I go in though? It seems like a bad idea. Let's check around first. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. <laughs> Hello, Warren's room. There is no unique picture of reality. Make a good team? Uh I'm not even gonna look at that one. Sorry, Kate. <laughs> Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. All right, let's go check out the other side. I want to explore. Or did I explore everything? Whew. <laughs> Detect it. Okay, wait. Maybe this picture here. As much as I think, Warren is kind of a beta Warren, fag alert. Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. All right, and let's head in here. This is probably gonna go badly. Locked, of course. Let's break this shit open. Smashed. Wow, Ritzy. He's watching a projection. That's the creepiest shit. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or that is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk. Or I'm going to tell everybody what you did, and you're going to pay, oh motherfucker. My God. Chloe. <sighs> Chloe. Oh my lord. That's not good. Uh, I got a text though. From oh my god, everyone. No, nope, not that one. Back. Who did I get it from? Joyce. There it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'll deal. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Well, what's this? Projector. Yeah, this is the creepiest yes, thing. I would be cool with having this high tech projector. What's this? Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. Only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. That's really creepy. All right, what else can we look at? What's this? That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has best son in the world. Ah, isn't that cute? That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Pastor. Not bad. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. All right, what's this? I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Not with the bottle of champagne right next to it. So I'm guessing the computer is probably what it is. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> Nathan likes his tortured subjects Way too much. Man, he's got a shit ton of movies. These films all have a dark pattern. 
Oh, photo. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. That's creepy. <laughs> That's weird. Oh man, maybe he loves her. What's this? Nathan Prescott. Ooh, butts All and boobs. Team. <laughs> Oregon's best boobs. <laughs> oh man, nice. Hey, as long as we're having fun, right? No judging. Nathan is way into this party. Uh, so you sent this to Victoria. Hey, gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as style and inexpensive. I'm psyched about going and picking up some serious power today favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme party, let's do it f fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. Yeah, Kate's. And why Kate will get justice. It's not going to go well. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. All right, this is from Sean to Nathan. Uh, Nate, I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Oh my God, you got to be kidding me! Make an appointment with your son. No wonder he's messed up. Uh, your mother wants Doctor Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. Uh, I need you calm and quiet while Pan. Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden. I'll guide you into this room step by step as my father, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with the fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Oh god, that's so creepy. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. All right. And far away. Nah, that's not gonna help me. Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. <laughs> wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Okay. From Principal Wells to Nathan. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for a recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have reassured him that. I have assured him that you'll never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. So wait, is that what I needed? It doesn't really seem like it. Ooh, what's this? Is that a gun manual? Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Gift from who? Gift from who? Man, what else can I use? Scratch marks? Oh god, that's creepy as hell. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Somebody struggling? Oh god. Oh, please Let's no. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh, oh my lordy. Phone. You are mine now. That's so creepy. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. All right, let's do this, Chloe. <laughs> Boom! Damn, get out. You're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. No doubt. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. This ain't gonna go well. Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Ooh, headbutt. <laughs> you are so fucking dead. Oh my god, badass. Me, bro. Oh. Um, okay, no, it's this ain't going to go well. <laughs> Warren, stop it. Come on. Get the gun away. Get the gun away. <laughs> oh my head. Why are you looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. God, I almost feel bad for the jackass. <laughs> Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, 
We should try to be better than that. No regrets. Let's move forward.